All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue with solving equations. This time they're going to be multi-step equations. So uh, using your knowledge of like terms and those inverse operations in order to simplify some things and solve for the variable. Uh, just a few things to remember here as we go on with a few of those extra steps. When combining like terms, I add or subtract terms with a common variable. It could also just be two numbers, but those things that are the same are going to be put together. When using the distributive property, I should always multiply what is outside the parentheses with what is inside the parentheses. I am not going to see that today, but we will continue with that as we continue with um, multi-step equations. And lastly, to solve an equation which involves a variable, I need to isolate the variable. So the goal is to get that variable by itself doing some simplifying work and moving things from side to side. So just remember that is the main goal and we isolated the variable on our one and two step equations. We're going to continue to do that when we solve our multi-step equations. So remember to use those inverse operations and then as you are using those inverse operations, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other. So going over some examples here for you, um, please make sure you are writing these down in your notes, taking notes on that so that you can upload that picture to show your teacher that you did follow along in the video and went through these examples. So I'm going to go ahead and put my line at the equal sign here so that I know whatever I do on the left of that, I'm going to do on the right of that line. And when I take a look on the left-hand side of my equation here, I notice that I have a negative 6h and a positive h that are like terms. Now remember that h means 1. So if I have negative 6 plus 1, I get negative 5h. So negative 5h, and then I see that I have positive 4 and negative 3 that are like terms. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So I'm going to put plus 1, and then equals, and then that 11 stays on the right-hand side. So as you can see, we now have a two-step equation uh, to solve for h. So remember, when we undo these operations that are there, we are going backwards in the order of operations. So I first want to undo that adding or subtracting, and then undo that multiplying or dividing. So looking for adding or subtracting, I have plus 1. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides of my equal sign. This cancels here, and I get negative 5h equals 10. Okay, so now I can look for multiplying or dividing, and I notice that these two things are right next to each other, which means multiplying. So to undo that negative 5, I need to divide by negative 5. Remember, when you're dividing, you take that sign with it. So my answer here is h equals negative 2. So I didn't have any parentheses to get rid of, but if we were to distribute, they would be there and we would want to get rid of them. I did combine my like terms to simplify the left-hand side of my equation here. And then I moved the, I kept the variable on the left and moved the numbers to the other side, those constants to the other side. And then I solved for H. Okay, so just a reminder, um, on every single problem, if you don't know where to start, you do want to go through that process of getting rid of the parentheses if you have them, combining your like terms, moving the variable to one side of your equation and the numbers to the other side so that you can solve for that variable to be by itself. Okay, so let's look at another example here. So I'm gonna draw my line here. Okay, and if I look on the left-hand side, 8x plus four, those are not like terms. One has an x and one doesn't, so I can't put that together. And on the right-hand side, 5x plus 28, those are also not like terms, so I can't put those together. So there's no like terms to put together yet. I just need to start moving things from side to side. So I like to get my variable on the left-hand side. You don't have to, but you do have to get them together. So if I look on the right-hand side here, I have a 5x. That's a positive 5x, so I'm going to subtract 5x from there. That's going to cancel. And then I'm going to write that below its like term on the other side. So 8x minus 5x is 3x. So I have 3x plus 4 equals 28. And again, this looks like those two-step equations we were doing before. 
So now I want to undo the adding or subtracting. So I have plus four, so I'm gonna subtract four from both sides and I get three X equals 24. And now second, I wanna undo that multiplying or dividing. I have multiplying by three, so I'm gonna divide by three and I get X equals eight. Okay, so there weren't any parentheses, there weren't any combining like terms, but then I did move the variables to one side, the numbers to the other side, and I solved for that variable. Okay, so here, again, um, a third and final example here, I'm gonna draw a line, okay? Um, there are no parentheses, so I don't have to worry about that this time, but now I wanna look to see if there are any like terms. So on the left-hand side of my equation here, I notice I have a 5x and a 3x. Those are like terms, so I'm gonna put them together. So five plus three is eight, so I get eight x. And then that 24 doesn't have a like term, so I'm just gonna leave it the same, plus 24 equals. And on the right-hand side, those two are not like terms. The two has an x with it, so I can't put that with 36 because it doesn't have an x, so I'm just gonna rewrite that. Negative 36 minus two x, okay? So now I wanna move the variables to one side. And again, I like to get them on the left-hand side. So I look over on the right-hand side here and I have this negative two X. Well, to cancel that out and move it to the other side, I need to add two X. So then I'm gonna write that below its like term on the left-hand side. And eight plus two is 10. So I have 10 X plus 24 equals negative 36. Okay, and now I wanna move the numbers or the constants to the other side, so that positive 24, I wanna to move to the right-hand side. And again, this is that two-step equation that we've known how to do, so I first wanna undo adding or subtracting. So that's why we're gonna subtract 24 from both sides. And I get 10X still left here on the left-hand side equals. And then on the right-hand side, they're both negative. So I have to add those together, okay? And I would get negative 60. And then the second thing I wanna do is undo the multiplying or dividing. So I'm gonna divide by 10 on both sides and I get X equals negative six. Negative 60 divided by positive 10 is negative six. So if any of that was too fast or you didn't get that, make sure you go back and watch the video, uh, but make sure you do have those copied down in your notes and you're able to submit a picture through Canvas to your teacher to show that you did watch those. You'll be practicing more examples in class. Make sure you're asking for help, but hopefully this is something that is just a good review to remember uh, those inverse operations and like terms and we'll continue on practicing those together.